we're on. Okay. Hey, everyone, I'm with Christopher Drew from Never Show Never. Peace. I'm just going to ask him a couple questions for the interview. Um, so, can you just state your name and what you do in the band? For anyone who doesn't um, my name's Chris, and I uh, play guitar and play some ukulele, and I try really hard. Um, have you always wanted to play music as a career? Um, no. Um, until I was about 14, I never even thought of it. I mostly just listened to what was on the radio and stuff like that, and... Uh, and my dad showed me a Beatles album, and a Bob Dylan album, and uh, I started playing some guitar. And I got really, really into it. Like, that's all I really did. I didn't have any friends at that point. And I just started playing guitar just every day and writing songs every day. So. But I, about 14, I figured out that I wanted to at least try to do something with music, you know? Whether it be, like, whether it be producing songs or, like, anything, you know what I mean? I just want to get involved because music's, like, a passion. Um, at well growing up and you want to say you wanted to do music and everything and you found guitar. Um, what were some of I know you mentioned some, but what were some of your influences? Um, well I mean my favorite band up until I was about fourteen until I got into real music was uh Outcast. And they were my first they were my first real influence I guess. And uh, then I started listening to some oldies like uh, the Beatles and the Beach Boys and like the band. Um, got really into Bob Dylan for a while and uh, those are probably my biggest influences. Um, newer stuff like I mean I'll, I'll, I'll pop in like a Jack Johnson album every once in a while. You know, he's a real talented songwriter. He seems very, very chill. Definitely. Um, your your band name is Never Show Never. Is there any reason why you picked that for a band name? Um, I don't know. I, uh, my whole life, I guess, I was told that I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I was from a small town. All I ever really played um, until I started getting real shows, I remember like 17 or 16, was uh, um, open mic nights and stuff. And I used to always get frowned upon there because I was like this little kid. Everybody there was like over the age 21 and stuff. And, but um, I just, I, I don't know, I guess I just thought it was kind of inspirational for myself and just you know, like driving me to keep going. Exactly. Um, what's something that your fans might not quite know about you? Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty open. I'm an open book to my fans. Uh, they might not know that. Um, no, they, they probably know everything about me. I, I post everything about me on that stupid website. Um, uh, MySpace. Hmm, I, well, okay. Whenever I don't wear shoes, I, I have these um, I have these flip-flops. They're Budweiser flip-flops. I got them at Walmart. Um, they're pretty badass. That's, that's something you might not know about me. But my Budweiser flip-flops. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're on this tour right now with Boys Like Girls, um, The Academy Is, Gym Class Heroes, and the Veronicas. How have things been going on the tour? They've been real fun. I mean... Uh, this is like only the third day, and it's just like a week run of shows. Um, but it's been going awesome. All the fans have been really, really nice to us, you know, because we're just we're new kids, you know, we're new kids on the block, and nobody really knows about us yet. But they've been really nice to us, so I'm really blessed for that. Nice man. After this tour is over, you're going to be going on a run on Warp Tour for some of the shows. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm pretty like pro like Warp Tour being like a punk festival, and uh, I feel kind of bad playing it actually. But my management thought it'd be a good idea for me to get on it just for a couple of dates and stuff. And, uh, so I'm hopping on, and it should be fun. It should be hot and sweaty, and hopefully I can see some cool punk bands. <laughs> um, when you are going to be going on Warped Tour, and I'm sure you, as a kid you've probably gone to Warped Tour every once in a while as a fan. I never have been to Warped Tour. You never have? I've never. Well, um, well, you know the concept of it, though, because I know you play Bamboozle. Like, what's yeah, your, it's like a big festival. Like, when you go to festivals versus playing, like, club shows, what's your favorite and least favorite thing about festivals and your favorite and least favorite club shows? Um, I love it. It's outdoors. Um, it's so fun to play outdoors. And I don't know why. It's just, there's something about it whenever you feel a breeze on you, you know, like a natural breeze. You're not inside. You're not like a sweaty, like, I don't even know, mildewed up club. You're just like outside. It's beautiful. But um, my least favorite is like sometimes it's hard to get a good sound, you know, outside with like, the wind going. Like, it kind of fucks the sound up a little bit. But, yeah. So, um, when... Now, you just recently released a summer EP mm -hmm. for everybody. Now, that was all new music. Um, how was recording that? It was real fun. Um, I recorded all the music over uh, with Forrest Klein from Hello Goodbye. Uh, he helped me out a little bit. He kind of taught me how to play this little contraption called the ukulele. I, don't, I didn't really know what I was doing, so, except for, like, YouTube videos and stuff. But he kind of showed me what's up with it. And, uh, and I don't know. I mean, it was, it was super awesome. And then I went back home to record the vocals where I recorded the vocals for the EP. Because uh, my buddy at... My buddy Kevin Gates over at Engaged Audio is like super talented and I just want to get his name out there as a producer and everything like that. So. Um, now, you sent you to release the EP, you've released tons of EPs, but you've still yet to release a full length. And yeah. I know you're working on that. Yeah, I'm working on it. So I, I don't know, full length is scary, you know, it's going to be my first one, I want it to be perfect, you know what I mean? But 
Um, full length now, we've been recording it with Butch Walker. He's always been a he's always been a huge inspiration to me. I love his songwriting. I love what he does. And you know, just having him there in the studio, just to like you know throw out ideas here and there, be like you know maybe like maybe like throwing a tambourine there instead of a shaker or something like that. You know, it's it's just great to have somebody so experienced in the studio with you. And uh, I don't know he's really helped us out a lot. And the album's turned out real cool. Definitely. Um, do you have any title for the album name yet? Or you just um, I'm, think, I'm thinking I want to name it Pray for Peace. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I might just leave it self-titled. I don't really know yet. That's the only name I have worked up right now. Awesome. So, um, after, so if you could tour with any three bands in the whole wide world, alive or dead, doesn't matter who, just if you could set up your own concert, you can be opener, you can do whatever you want, who would they be and why? Okay. I have, um, I have the Beatles, because they're, like, my number one influence. Uh, and I don't know, it'd just be, like, un- it'd be an un- un- unreal experience, you know, just to share the stage with such a, like, such a band that made such an impact, and then the Beach Boys, because they're another huge influence, and, like, I just love their harmonies, and I'd love to see that shit live, it'd be, like, unbelievable, and then, uh, I probably have Bob Dylan as well, because, uh, on the poetic side of music, I really look up to him, and I really look up to what he did, you know, he proved everybody wrong with some shitty recorded acoustic songs, you know what I mean, he, like, changed the whole music world, and, uh, it'd be awesome to see him play. Awesome, um, as a, not as a musician, but as an actual person, um, do, what's your biggest fear? Um, I don't know, I guess, I guess my, my biggest fear is, like, not living up to my potential, you know what I mean, like, living up to my potential as a person, like, like, morally, and things like that, you know, to my fans, and I guess just, just not living up to who I want to be, so. And, um, do you have anything else you would like to say to your fans? Um, keep rocking. Uh, You're awesome. Alright. Okay, awesome.